So today I'm going to be speaking about managing uh, mixed media to its benefits and also explaining the, the differences when, you know, getting into uh, digital and traditional art or tra digital or tra traditional painting. And also I will be talking about uh, how digital painting can help increase uh, confidence when it comes to painting uh, traditionally. All right. So how can digital drawing improve the arts? Well, first, uh, we'll need to, you know, understand the pros and cons of both mediums. So if someone is doing a, a digital drawing, there's an endless number of supplies, uh, color ranges, and, and, and it's easy to correct any artistic mistakes. And, it, and how easy it would be, you could just uh, click the undo button and then the mistake would be, you know, undone. You know, in traditional drawing, it's more controllable, less glitchy, and fixed. And what I mean by fixed is fixed as in, you know, once you make a mistake, you need to stick with it or find a way to turn the mistake into a into a happy accent, as Bob Ross says, you know, make the mistake work for you, you know? And fortunately, uh, these days, working with uh, mixed media that involves traditional and digital art, you know, minor uh, traditional mistakes can be corrected, whereas in the past, you will need to make uh, the mistake work for you within the painting. So digital drawing and traditional drawing can be costly, but in different ways though. So for example, uh, digital works can, may, they may require a upgraded computer, a uh, drawing software such as Photoshop, Clip Studio, Paint, Psy, and, and many more. And then there's the, uh, the, there's the drawing tablet, the Julian brands or the, the Wacom. And Wacom is more expensive since it's uh, it's a leading brand in drawing tablets. I personally have a Julian brand. It's much cheaper, and it, it does the work effectively. And you know, if you're someone that prefers drawing on a, uh, a screen as opposed to looking at a computer screen, like like me, you know, screen screen tablets can be uh, more costly. And so, digital equipment would be like uh, making large payments up front with the benefit of having a a unlimited supply you know so now if we were to go into uh, traditional art the uh, traditional art can be like semi large payments however however there's a lot of maintenance involved and over time it can eat away at your cost gradually so you know for example uh, markers if your markers run out or inks uh, inks run out or your marker uh, dries out or your brush breaks or you know something happens and, and, it, and it will cause you to uh, you know just purchase more just to get refilled on it on your on, on the supply but in, in my opinion in my opinion uh, traditional art can give uh, users more control and there are also uh, traditional works that can't be mimicked uh, digitally such as a uh, copy markers or maybe this is why uh, um, you know since kind of copy markers do stand out a lot it can it can be a form of you know presenting showcasing a person's art style for you to to kind of stand out from the crowd because not many people have uh, have that mastery of of, of copy markers where well, you can stand out from the crowd with with the copy markers you know and perhaps there's all this is why you know copy marker brand is highly expensive because it can't really be mimicked uh, digitally so but, but yeah but there are also third party uh, alcohol alcohol yeah alcohol markers that are uh, much uh, that are much cheaper than copy markers you know and if you were to if you were going to uh, practice with alcohol marker uh, do alcohol marker coloring I'd recommend using a cheap brand that could be found you know on Amazon you don't have to use a copy markers but you could just find a cheap brand on Amazon and if you compare the, the two brands uh, it, it's 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 definitely worth the deal the, the cheap brands are you know it's cheap, you know. All right, so I'm on Amazon right now, and this is the usual cost of a copy market set. It's it's close to four hundred dollars, close to four hundred dollars, right? And so for close to four hundred dollars, you get seventy-two uh, markers, you know, seventy-two markers, and there's not much uh mu not much to work with, not much uh, color combination or color diversity to work with, you know. But this is you know for almost four hundred dollars. But this is the leading brand. Copy markers is like the leading brand of of alcohol markers right and so if you go just go to third party the third party one uh this is ho 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 how ho how are you pronounce it ho ho this is this is o almost almost two hundred dollars uh 
And not only is it almost two hundred dollars, this also comes with uh, you know, two hundred and two hundred and sixteen, two hundred and sixteen different colors, right? Two hundred and sixteen different colors compared to the the copy markers, which is like uh, seventy two, and you're paying you know four hundred, and this you're paying on you know almost almost two hundred. So yeah, <clears throat> this is definitely you know rough the deal if you're a beginner. Um, and and also it comes with so much uh, color diversity that you can you know shade the more colors you have the more you know the more lively your your art will be compared to if you were a beginner and you were just buying a, a, a casual you know coffee market here you know the casual coffee market set here you know and then and and then if you want to go even cheaper this is like a, you know 600 this is the one I bought you know, this is like six hundred. I'm not not six sixty dollars. This is sixty dollars, right? Um, and it comes with you know just uh, one hundred and sixty eight colors. However, the, the 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 downside to this, or if you want to call it a downside, is it only comes with with fine tip and chisel tip. You know, uh, sketch uh, the sketch tip, which looks like a brush, is more uh, it's more painterly. It's more free flowing compared to the fine tip and, 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 and the chisel tip but this is also a good price for you know for copy markers for you know sixty dollars here right so and also for uh, for drawing tablets you know uh, this is the brand the Julian Julian canvas uh, this I'm not sure if I uh, I don't know if I paid that maybe I paid it more expensive maybe it got cheaper or so but um this is the this is the Julian brand and this is the the leading brand the Wacom the Wacom right here. So you can see the uh, the, the the differences in the differences in price, you know. So honestly, you know, both digital and traditional can can be costly, especially if you are constantly refilling your market. If you constantly use traditional and you want to uh, refill uh, some of these markers. And so the thing that ties uh, digital and traditional art together is practice. I believe uh, digital drawings are more, uh, more, they're much more better for practicing, while uh, uh, traditional drawings, they're less uh, practice friendly, I guess. But like, and I say this, I say this due to the supply burn away. So on every like practice session and due to the fixed nature of uh, traditional drawings when an artist, makes a mistake oftentimes it's 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 permanent you know so if you were to practice with a gesture drawing digitally you wouldn't need to waste a bunch of uh, paper in the real world so from my experience uh digital painting you know has helped me to understand more more uh, understand coloring uh shadowing and, and lighting more just due to how easy it is it's there's no um like there's no backlash there's no consequence co consequences heavy consequences to my mistakes when i'm going in uh digitally and so the more i'm i become comfortable shading uh, digitally while easily correcting mistakes the less mistakes i make on traditional pa paintings based on my uh, prior experiences with digital color so in a way, my uh, my shading confidence leads to a decrease in hit, in, in in hesitation, and a increase in, in faster production. And so I think for people that want to study shading, it would be uh, beneficial to go the, the digital route if it's your first time, you know. But what do you think? You know, these are just my experiences. You might not be comfortable with uh, digital drawing at all, or you might not be comfortable with, with with traditional drawing at all, you know. So, you know, just find a method that works for you. And, and a lot of, uh, a lot of experience comes when, uh, a lot of experience in art comes from, you know, self-discovery, you know? So anyway, this will be the video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about the video. And peace.